Well, hello again. Um, we're back next morning. Um, just walking out to the next field. We're going to cut, have a look at it, see what it's sort of shape it's in. Um, yeah, it's a nice day again today. Should be good all day. It's going to be slightly hotter than yesterday, I think. Um, you might be able to tell from the from the noise. There's actually quite a lot of wind around today as well. Um, hopefully, hopefully it won't be uh, won't be too bad. This is the field that we're cutting, and uh, like again, I, hope, I don't know if you can see that, but uh, the grass is up around up around chest here. Uh, <laughs> quite a breeze today. Um, so it's all good. It's still a bit wet at the bottom, so I'll leave it for a bit um, as I'm walking through, getting sort of a fair bit of dew on the feet. So I'll, uh, I'll give it a bit of time. The sun's out, the sun's nice and hot. And uh, yeah, we'll give it a cut. The um, problems with our tractor engine they haven't gone away, it seems. Um, we looked yesterday when I got back shut the tractor off and again it wouldn't start properly. Now I'm currently thinking that it's possibly the fuel lift pump. Um, engine's running reasonably well when it runs but uh, getting it started is a problem. So uh, I've ordered a new fuel lift pump, they're not huge amounts of money um, just in case. I'm hoping the tractor will start. Um, if it doesn't we've got some new problems to deal with. Uh, but. Uh, yeah, we'll see. I'm just going to go and uh, get a few things sorted out and then probably bring the tractor out. Um, I'll go out to the end of the farm where we cut yesterday uh, once I've cut these two just to have a look, see what sort of shape it's in. Um, hopefully it'll be drying out quite nicely and be ready to turn for the first time. Um, it'd be good to get it spread out and uh, get the sun onto it especially in that middle field the second one we cut yesterday um, where uh, where it was very wet so yeah that's it for now fingers crossed for a trouble free day well um, just got in the tractor and uh, started up first time so um, I'm not sure whether to be worried about that or pleased about that um, obviously the engine's cold this morning, which maybe makes me think this is not a lift pump issue at all. It could be something a bit more serious if he's struggling with compression. Probably something kind of more fundamental to the engine. Obviously it's very hot yesterday. Um, and I'm just wondering if maybe the engine is struggling with compression when it's hot, which uh, obviously is a slightly more involved issue. Uh, hopefully we're not going to be faced with an engine rebuild at some point soon, but we'll have to see how it goes. Um, it started up, it's running fine, everything's uh, peachy, there's no nasty noises or anything in it. So uh, yeah, just going to have to see what's what. Um, slight change of plan, I'm actually, I don't know if you can see out the windows in this sun, um, I'm going to uh, do the hill first. Um, this field is pretty much dry now. It's, it's obviously a lot more exposed to the wind um, than the one we were in uh, earlier on. So yeah, the plan is get this cut. This one's a bit rougher. Um, yeah, there's a few more nettles in it, but um, you still get decent hay off it once it dries out. Uh, so yeah, that's the plan. I'm going to cut this one, then I'll move into the field we're in this morning, which is arguably the nicest hay that we get uh, off the farm altogether. Um, and uh, then once those two are done, um, I'm going to head back out to the fields we cut yesterday, just have a look, see how they're drying, um, and uh, maybe give them a turn. So, we'll see what happens. I'll be back later. Quite such a nice um, swath of grass behind you, but you, know, you can see it's 
okay. Um, and a safe than sorry. Again, everything seems to be okay. Tracks are fine. Bow is cutting okay. So, uh, yeah, it's all uh, seems to be good at the moment. underneath so uh, that's the project for the winter is to um, try and get that um, try and get that ground a bit a bit more level a bit smoother um, just waiting for the mower now to shut down so that um, I can pack it up and then we'll be through into the other field um, where we were walking this morning and uh, that one will be the last of the cuts then so uh, yeah I'll give the mower a quick check over um, and um, we'll be good to go. So, as per usual, just got out, have a quick check, make sure everything's cutting okay, make sure it's all uh, doing what it's supposed to. Looks really nice. Um, again, as I say, a little bit thin up at the top here, but uh, further down the hill, uh, it's not too bad. What uh, we do have, which is, you know, just disgusting really, there's no other word for it, is this kind of nonsense just somebody's rubbish plastic bottle there's a road just there 
they just chuck it out of the cars, out of the vans, out of the lorries, whatever it is, and uh, straight over the hedge, and um, we get to pick it up. So, uh, thankfully, what have we got here? There we go. Plastic, uh, metal drinks can, plastic bottle. I'm not even having to look very hard for it, so before we bail it, we've got to go through, pick out all the rubbish like this, because um, obviously we don't want this shredded up um, and bailed into animal feed. So, you know, if you're one of the people who throws rubbish out of a car, frankly, you're an idiot and you need to be, I don't know what you need to be, but stop it. You know, it's just find a bin, <laughs> chuck it in a bin, don't be disgusting, don't be an idiot. I don't know what to say to people like that. But uh, anyway, we'll get back to it. I'm not going to let people like that ruin my day today because it's beautiful out here. And uh, let's get on and make some hay. Okay, that's it. All the mowing done. Seem to get through it without too many disasters. This stuff's really nice in here. It's cut really nicely. It's wilting off already. As I said earlier, just got to do a walk around of the field. Pick up a few helpful, handy things. Drives me mad. Really does drive me mad. Oh, there's a sparrow hawk. <laughs> Sparrowhawk just popped up out one of the windrows there. He's obviously uh, looking for some lunch. Um, yeah, I'm just making my way over here. Um, as you can see, crisp packets. What have we got here? Damn, no crisp packets. Chocolate wrappers. Jesus, throw your rubbish in the bin, you morons. This does not belong in a field. Absolutely no reason for it at all. Still, there we go. Yeah, again, already getting a lovely smell. Nice sweet kind of hay, sweet grassy smell coming off the field. I don't know if you can see behind me. It's uh, clear blue skies, barely a cloud in the sky. So uh, should be a good drying day. Uh, I'm going to unhook the mower now and uh, just have a quick look. Maybe have a cup of tea and then uh, just potter out to the other fields that we cut yesterday. Just see how they're drying. It might be that they're good enough to turn already. Um, don't want to turn them too early and leave a lot of green underneath but uh, equally get them spread out quickly and uh, they should dry reasonably well. So that's that. Mowing well done, no big disasters or anything. And uh, the tractor swimming is obvious. I haven't switched it off but uh, that may be the next challenge is to actually switch the tractor off and see exactly what it does. I don't know if you can see me very well. I'm Got the sun behind me at the moment, but uh, there we go. So yeah, just walking back down to the tractor now. Um, Going to stow the mower, give it a quick clean off, put it away. We'll wash it properly once all the, all the making's done. We'll get the pressure washer out and actually give it a proper going over. Um, but for now, uh, that's that. Time for a cup of tea, and then back to work.